Hello and welcome. You're watching us here on Chart Busters. This is a show where we talk about all the buzzing stocks of the day. We do have with us Sonal Bhutra today. Sonal is looking like a good start to the markets. A 66 point pump up on the Nifty. It uh, opened well, saw a bit of a dip, and that dip has quickly been bought into. That's primarily on account of the Nifty Bank. As you can see, you know, we opened well, and then the, we, there was a bit of a dip, and now we're on the way up once again. And that coincides with the chart that we're seeing on the Nifty Bank, which is again at a record high. So we'll keep an eye out on uh, the indices, but uh, the stock on our radar right now is Quantum Papers. It's repaid up to 30% uh, of its restructured term loans. Pawan Khedan, who's the vice chairman and managing director of the company, joins us now. Thanks a lot, Pawan, for joining in. You have been talking about the debt repayment strategy of the company. Just wanted to understand, with this restructuring that you've announced to the exchanges, what does your total debt stand at right now? On uh, you know, and on that debt, how much is the moratorium? Net net, how much interest cost reduction are we eyeing going forward? Good morning. Uh, well, good to be back. I think Pawan, uh, you're on mute. Uh, you would probably have to unmute yourself. All right. No, Go I, ahead. I, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, before the restructuring, we were at a debt level of 600 crores. And right now we've repaid about 30% of the restructured debt. So today my debt stands at about 450 crores long-term debt. And all this has happened out of the cash accruals which we are generating. And uh, I think uh, if the kind of, we, the moratorium that we got was for two years and the repayment has already started. It started in September of 2022. And now, with the additional payment of 105 crores, we are back on track as if we would not have got any moratorium. So I think all in all, a good performance, a good track going forward. And we are very happy that we've been able to repay uh, a good amount of our loan and back to a, a reasonable level on my debt. Okay, so 450 crore rupees is the debt right now in your books, Mr. Khaitan. Uh, you've already paid some of it. What is the outlook going forward in terms of debt repayment? And as Mangam asked you, what kind of interest savings will you see in FY23 and FY24 as well once you continue to uh, pay your debt? So I guess a reduction of at least 10 crores going forward with uh, 150 crores gone. Uh, 10 to 15 crores is my savings on interest at least. And I think this uh, proposal of repaying debts should be an option going forward as well with the consistent cash generation which the operation is generating so right. today today this entire debt of 450 crores i have until 2028 and 29 to repay as per the existing term schedule but hopefully i should be able to repay that earlier than the schedule has decided take that point you know i was looking at uh, your interest expenditure in uh, fy22 it was close to around 70 odd crores trailing 10 months it's been around 73 odd crores at 450 crores uh, what is uh, the cost of finance for you um do we this, see 50, 50 so with the restructuring that happened it was about at about 10 percent but mm. going forward we are hoping to reduce about at least a percentage point so it should be about nine percent going forward so nine percent on 450 crores would mean annual interest expenditure closer to uh, you know that 40 crore mark yeah. is yeah. that correct yeah. Correct. That would be correct. So okay. this is the long-term debt and interest would carry another, uh, I mean, working capital and other unsecured loans, which are a total of about 80 to 90 crores. Mm. So that's on the short-term side. So that would add about 10 odd crores. So roughly 50 uh, crores in interest expenditure crores. is what we can expect going forward. Yes. yes. Okay. So that is about your balance sheet debt figures as well. Let's talk uh, business on the ground as well. Uh, we did see that realizations had been increasing for you. Quarter 1, 82,000 rupees per ton. Quarter 2, 87,000 rupees per ton. Uh, how has quarter 3 been so far? Uh, if you can also speak to us about any shortage uh, that we've been reading about in terms of coal uh, for paper mills. Is that something which is an industry-wide phenomenon? And if not, what kind of realizations are the paper mills and you yourself are enjoying right now? So we are bettering, we've been able to better our Q2 realizations in Q3. We are better off uh, from 87,000 levels. We are touching at about average 90,000 rupee per ton levels for Q3. And as far as shortage of coal is concerned, yes, uh, we haven't been able to uh, take on coal from Coal India where we've got linkage uh, possibilities and linkage formalities. 
but we've been able to successfully take coal from the open market as well as they are in the biomass uh, sector hub of india punjab allows us to uh, procure a lot of biomass which is rice husk and we've been able to successfully run our boilers and power boilers on rice husk all right uh, and how about specialty products i mean uh, what proportion of your revenue currently comes from specialty products because i see you having uh, entered you know uh, other formats like straw based paper there was cup stock with bio coating you have carry bag paper packaging paper and we do see uh, the usage of paper having increased as the usage of plastic has come down so what sure. proportion of your revenue comes from these products how much is it likely to be going forward so currently we are at about 20 22% and going forward we are hoping to touch about 35 to 40% on specialty paper and how much more is this in terms of margins for you margins would be so right now we are commanding uh, margins of about 26 to 28% and on this particular segment we should gain about 35% margins okay 35% margins from the newer products uh, what kind yes. of capacity utilizations and volumes are you seeing right now if we talk about your volume growth guidance for fy23 uh, you saw around yeah. 1.5 uh, lakh tons in fy22 what would that number be for fy23 and since we are just coming closer to fy23 end can you give us a sense of fy24 as well since these newer products and newer specialty segment will start contributing more so we are operating at 100% capacity and right now uh, we going forward the current year would see a similar volume of 1 lakh 50 so we did operate at 100% capacity in 22 as well so going forward we are looking at optimizing our machine capacity and hoping to increase that in 23 24 going forward we should touch about 1 lakh 80000 tons in 24 so that would give the additional volumes and uh, so revenue growth prospects so current year we should uh, touch uh, we should end at 1200 crores and going forward we should look at about touching 1500 crores in 23 24 all right, take that point, 1,500 crore in 23, 24. Uh, the last question uh, then uh, from my end, just wanted to understand uh, with your debt repayment, business looking good, etc., you intend it to be uh, promoter pledge free by the end of next year. Is that likely to be a little before that? What is the current pledge? No, no. no. So we've preceded that. We, we've already filed uh, a proposal with the banks to de-pledge our shares. It's already lying with the banks that so they're looking at it. Hopefully, I should get success by Jan end. Okay, so we'll touch base with you yet again in January and when you report your results as well. Mr. Khaitan, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us all those details. So that's the word coming in from Quantum Papers.